If you're just getting started with Scribus or migrating from a word processing or desktop publishing application, you may find it convenient to have the ability to import text content directly into Scribus from other document types. In this video, we're going to discuss importing text into Scribus, so let's get started. Welcome to class. With Scribus running, you can create a text frame from the standard menu by selecting Insert, then Text Frame, and using the computer mouse to click on your document. Alternatively, we can use the tool shortcut ribbon just above our document, or by using the keyboard shortcut by pressing the letter T and then clicking on a location on our document. Let's go ahead and draw a few text frames on our document so that we can have somewhere to import our text content into. Once we have a text frame, we can select it and begin the process of importing text from an external source. There is more than one way to import text content in Describus as well. Let's go over each method. One method would be to use the standard menu by selecting File, Import, and Get Text. We can also right click on the text frame and select Content, and then Get Text. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut by selecting the text frame and pressing Control or Command and the letter I. Instead of selecting Get Text, you can select Append Text if you're looking to add to any existing content in your text frame rather than replacing what is already there. A file selection screen will appear allowing you to navigate the directories of your computer and select a file with the content you would like to import. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have created a number of documents that we will be importing text content from to show you the different results you can expect. There's a plain text file, a rich text file, a file created in LibreOffice, and one in Microsoft Word. Each file has the same content. And with the exception of the plain text file, each file's content is formatted the same way. Scribus does have the ability to import formatted content, such as text that is bold or underlined, or that has been set to a specific font color. However, depending on the file type, support can be limited. Let's go ahead and import the text from each document to see what we get. As you can see, the plain text document imports pretty much what you would expect. We've imported the file's content and there's no special formatting of any kind. The next file was created in Office Libre and notice how all of the content was imported and that all of the formatting appears to have been retained. Moving on to the rich text document, we can see that similar to the Office Libre document, all formatting appears to have been retained as well. Finally, let's take a look at the text imported from the Microsoft Word document. Notice that although all the content appears to have been imported, not all of the content formatting was retained, specifically the font color and bold styling. You should now know the steps necessary to import text and describe us from other word processing documents, and understand that there are some formatting limitations. In this video, we discussed how to import text content in Describus. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic in Scribus, let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.